Well, I ain't rich, but I damn sure want to be. Yeah, working like a dog all day ain't working for me. Well, I wish I had a rich uncle that would kick the bucket. I was sitting on a pile like a Warren Buffett. I know everybody says money can't buy happiness, but it can buy me a boat. It can buy me a truck to pull. It can buy me a Yeti 110 ice down with silver bullets. Well, I know what they say. Money can't buy everything. Maybe so. But it can buy me a boat. They call me redneck, white trash, and blue collar. Well, I could change all that if I had a couple million dollars. I keep hearing that money is the root of all evil, and you can't fit a camel through the eye of a needle. I'm sure that's probably true, but it still sounds pretty cool. It can buy me a boat. It can buy me a truck. It can buy me a Yeti 110 ice down with silver bullets. Well, I know what they say, money can't buy everything, maybe so, but it can buy me a boat to float down on the water with a beer, I hear the power fall out of it, sitting on a hundred mil, yeah, that'll buy me a brand new riding rib, or it can buy me a boat. It can buy me a truck to pull it. It can buy me a Yeti 110 ice down with silver bullets. Well, I know what they say. Money can't buy everything. Maybe so. But it can buy me a boat. Smell of an old two-stroke on a 12-foot boat early morning on the river. Calm on a fresh-cut field and a white tail running in mid-November. A blaze orange cap laying up on the dash floor riding down an old farm road. Yeah, that's the real trucked up bucking bass pro. Cause that's a little slice of heaven where I shot that 11-point buck with a double drop time. And you ought to see a whopper plopper on the top water come Saturday at sunrise. Everybody who knows me dang sure knows I'll be 20 foot high in a tall white oak. That's the real truck duck bucking bass pro. Yeah, there ain't nothing like the smell of bacon on the griddle in a duck blind first of the year. Yeah, it's cut them all high five greenheads at the water then it's time for an ice cold beer thank the good lord for the great outdoors and johnny morris for the fishing poles yeah that's the real truck duck bucking bass pro because there's a little slice of heaven where i shot that 11 point buck with a double drive time and you ought to see a whopper plopper on the top water come saturday Everybody who knows me dang sure knows I'll be 20 foot high in a tall white old That's the real truck the fucking bass pro
You drop a line in the water and a bullet in a gun and a mercury on a tracker if you want to have fun. Cause there's a little slice of heaven where I shot that 11 point buck with a double drop time. And you ought to see a whopper plopper on the top water come Saturday at sunrise. Everybody who knows me dang sure knows I'll be 20 foot high in a tall wide oak. That's a real trucked up bucking bass bro. Yeah, there's a little slice of heaven where I shot that Side right now, it's a hundred in the shade when the sun beats down. Forecast calls for some more of the same. Well, I can't fix that, but I can fix a drink. I turn on Fox News and then CNN. It's the same dang thing all over again. The world's in the toilet, the market's in the tank. I can't fix that, but I can fix a drink. truck won't stop. None of your friends want to listen to Hank. Well, I can't fix that. But I can fix a drink. Pour it on ice and mix it on up and get you feeling right. I can get you buzzed. I can get you smiling. I can make you feel like you're sitting on an island. I can make it pretty. I can make it strong. All you gotta do is tell me what you want. Put it to your lips. Take a little sip. Tell me what you think. Yeah. In some Mountain Dew, Malibu, Cuervo, Coke in a cup. Baby, I can hook you up. Well, I can fix a drink, pour it on ice, mix it on up, and get you feeling right. I can get you buzzed, I can get you smiling, I can make you feel like it's sitting on an island. I can make it fruity, I can make it strong. All you gotta do is tell me what you want. Put it to your lips, take a little sip, tell me what you think. Sit on. 
We wake up, put our boots on, and it's straight to that hay field On that no-cab tractor sweating every summer We lace up our cleats and put our helmets on twice a day Even though that farmer's bank sign said a hundred Yeah, we were out in the dirt It didn't matter how much sweat was on our shirt No, we did it anyway It was the only way we knew we did it our way Just like they told us not to do We drank a beer, we had a chew We got a wild out at the moon We were way too young to care what people say We did it anyway and We drank a flatbed wagon with some guitars on the back Pour some diesel, light a fire on 80 acres Yeah, we put on a show Play that southern rock and roll Till the cops showed up or we blew out the breakers We drank them cold We drank them hot We didn't give a dang what anybody thought No, we did it anyway It was the only way we knew We did it our way Just like they told us not to do We drank a beer, we had a chew We got a wild out at the moon We were way too young to care what people say did it anyway every night and day didn't know no other way that's just the way we were born and raised yeah That's the only way we knew we did it our way Just like they told us not to do We drank a beer, we had a chew We got a wild out at the moon We were way too young to care what people say Yeah, we wouldn't have it any other way We did it anyway We did it anyway We did it anyway There he is. Come on. Chris Jansen got a new record all in. Chris Jansen. What's up, buddy? How are you? Hey, brother. I'm it, doing great. Thank you for having us on. We appreciate it. It is good to see you. I mean, I, I watch some of your clips. I mean, we, I follow you on Instagram. So when you do these live shows and you're doing a live show in like a leather jacket um, and you're bouncing around, I'm like, that jacket's about to come off because <laughs> this guy sweats. He's got a lot of energy. Yeah. But you do. You will go up and you will pound for pound do more exercise, do more running around than anybody I've ever seen in country music. It is wild to watch you do a live show, and it's fun to Thank watch you. all the comments from people who see you for the first time. Thank you. And they're like, wow, that guy's so good. So before you're going out, like, is there like a stretch, is there some like stretching routine you do? It's so physical. There's not, uh, typically, historically. However, it's funny you should ask, because the other night we were uh, on tour, and we were in Missouri, right above the Arkansas line, as a matter of fact, and... I I I got on stage and I was I did this high kick out of out of middle of nowhere and I really <laughs> it was about third song in and I be honest with you I really had wish I had stretched. Um, well, you're getting show. older too, you know. Correct. We're all getting so, a little bit older. Right. You forget. You know. You forget these what? things. But like as the road takes its toll on you, and then you you get up there and you high kick. I'm like, oh my god. Here's the good news. I I sort of did pull a muscle in my leg, but more than that, I ripped the whole bottom of my pants out, and so I was literally just I was up there doing my deal, and I went. Oh crap! <laughs> Legs closed. Oh crap! And I wasn't wearing underwear, and I had to get some. Wait, I know what? you were wearing jeans with no underwear. Yeah. Well, um, have what you is seen happening the jeans here? Kelly makes me wear on stage. Well, they're tight, yes, but yeah, I would think tight. that would not be a good rub. You know what I'm saying? Well, it it just was that way that night. So um, I had to get some gaff tape from from my guy over on the side of the stage, Jason. And then I was, he was like, "Here, I'll get it." And I was like, "No, you definitely won't get it." <laughs> 
So I had to I had to tape myself up, and but it worked okay. So I just played the rest of the night looking like I had um I just had a big loop of tape on my leg. It's funny that you tore your hmm. pants, you weren't wearing underwear, and you didn't have a change of pants. <laughs> like, don't can someone run to your bus and grab some shorts or pants or something? Well, it's the it was the cruise bus, and I didn't have any of my clothes on it, and so no, I didn't. I had a pair. But they, of course, weren't at the venue. It's like when you when you need a pair, they're not there. Um, Couldn't your drummer give you his pants? He's behind a drum kit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, technically, he yeah. could. Hey, listen, I mean, I, I would have pulled a Blink-182, but, I, you know, it's like in country music, you just, you know, it just didn't, I don't think many people would have related with that one. Well, you guys need to see Chris live. It's such a great live show. Uh, Thank you. And we have a full full deal here. The stage is covered with instruments, and I appreciate you guys bringing the whole crew here. You have uh, Thank you. You have five guys up there on this stage. Mm -hmm. It's the most I've ever had in a band. I, I used to have just me, 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 Randy, Kurt. Uh, Randy's on guitar. He's a local Nashvilleian. Kurt, he grew up here, too, on drums. Uh, Josh back here on bass guitar. And our newest addition, Steve Peavy over here, he plays a lot of different instruments, including an accordion I found out this week which is if we ever want to do Twist and Shout or anything like that, we can do that. Um, but he plays a lot of different instruments. He, he played for the, the late, great Don Williams, Tulsa time, and um, for many years. And now he plays with me. So this is the biggest lineup I've ever had, but it, it, it just called for it, and I was really wanting to fiddle in the band, and, um, and I got one. So, Steve, right? That's your name? So, Steve, as uh, somebody who plays a fiddle or violin, depending who you talk to and the style you play, I feel like... And do you feel like everybody has to know the first part, and if so, of Devil Went Down to Georgia? Do you, do you have to know that as a fiddle player? I suppose it, it's wise. Do you know the first part to it Well, I by heart? Now. You do now? <laughs> yeah, it's something we do in the show. Really? Yes. Can you play the intro part to Devil? I'm going to press okay. all, all of you guys. Yeah, can you play it right now, just a little bit of that, just the intro part? The On the fiddle part. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah, whatever you got, I don't know. Or do a solo. Here we go. Come on! Yeah. All right, all right. And your bassist, your name is Josh. Josh. Now, Josh, I, do you know I'm a, all the famous parts of all the instruments? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Chris has got a good band. I'm ready to, ready to do some fun stuff. Do the the bass part from, and you may not know this one because it's. Do you ever know? Do you know the song uh, "You Can Call Me Out" by Paul Simon? You ever, you ever heard that one? There you go. Pretty good. What's the most famous bass line ever? Oh, what about like Pink Floyd Money? Boom, boom, boom. Do you know that one? Is that it? Oh, no, no, that's oh, that's Come ding, Together. Ding, ding, ding. No, I don't know that one. Okay, okay. well, we stumped one. Hey, play some Primus. <laughs> he goes right to Winona's Big Bang. Yeah. <laughs> and on the drums, do you know that my, fav <clears throat> my favorite drum part, when I say something funny, the noise that you do? Go. I'm sorry. Ba -dum -ksh. Oh. The noise that you do. Thank you. I, that, yeah. There we go. I go yes. <laughs> and finally, on guitar, what's your name? Ray. Good to meet you. Good to see, I know you. Good to see you again. What is the most famous, what's the first guitar solo you ever learned in your life? Uh, As a kid. Probably, probably honestly like a Tandelbox song. Okay. Like, do, you still, do you still know like the first guitar solo you ever learned? Oh, but, uh, give, us, give us something here. You're on the spot. All right, I now want to go and kill three people. <laughs> <laughs> this is about the show. Hey.